I have this really cute neighbor. I came home and there was a whole bunch of police at her house. Not just regular police, but a couple of ununiformed police detectives. At first, I thought she might have been murdered since she lives alone, but then I heard her talking, so I figured she wasn't dead, and I wondered what the detectives were doing there. I was at this bar the other night. I saw this guy that I thought I'd recognized, and he looked at me like he maybe recognized me. So we gave each other the mutually accepted, hey, what's up, kind of greeting, but I couldn't quite remember where I had met him before or if I actually had met him before or maybe he was just somebody that I see around town and I remember his face and maybe I've never talked to him before. This retired cop was telling me why he quit. He used to work in LA and he was involved in child sex trafficking and when he first got the assignment he knew that it would be very depressing. He knew that it would be very frustrating but he had hoped that he would eventually or sometimes or occasionally have a kind of a happy ending, at least save some little kid, but it turned out to be much, much worse than he imagined. It turns out that in order to continue to do something like that, you need to be connected to the existing power structure. And the more research he did, the more he found out that any existing power structure that exists today is also highly connected to the existing power structure of organized crime. The way they suck you into the evil power structure that exists pretty much everywhere is not what you would think. If you're outside the system, you can't really imagine what it's like inside the system. But the way they suck you in is very, very long game, very, very covert, very, very evil. They first expose you to all the positive benefits of being connected to the evil power structure without you realizing you're being exposed to the benefits of the evil power structure. They do this for a couple of years. And so by the time you realize why these good things are associated with the bad things, in your mind, the good things are almost worth the bad things. And slowly, as you move up the ladder, you slowly become more and more evil. But from inside your own brain, it seems like it's the logical thing to do. That's how they seduce you into the world of evil. One of the ways they did this to him was they gave him a book of all the future sporting events. It turns out that organized sports is much more corrupt than most people realize. All of the main games have already been played out for the next five to ten years. The outcomes are already predetermined, and they only need a few players to be in on it. And it turns out it's a lot more stable for the owners. It's a lot more consistent income for the owners and he showed me some photographs of this book I didn't write anything down but I couldn't help but memorize the winners of the next five Super Bowls and the winners of the next five World Series and I'm tempted to see if the first couple play out and then make a lot of money on the next three but if that happens I might myself be getting sucked into the world of evil if I'm not already inside that world. The reason the cops came to her house initially was because she told them over the phone that she had a webcam. It was a robbery or a break-in at her house, and normally if there's a robbery or a break-in or any kind of property damage, they don't usually send out a cop unless there's a dead body. But because she mentioned she had a webcam, the cop thought maybe they might see a picture and he might get an easy arrest. But when he showed up, there was an obvious fingerprint, and he took a picture of the fingerprint and sent it back to his office, and they ran a quick check. And it turns out this is the same fingerprint that belongs to a serial killer that has been killing people in major U.S. cities for the past several years. And this serial killer is very, very intelligent. He knows that his fingerprints are not in the system. So he's leaving his fingerprints on purpose, kind of like a calling card. She had a lengthy discussion about the detective that was there about this guy, and apparently the number of serial killers that exist is almost certainly underreported by the FBI. Certain academic researchers put the actual number of serial killers around one or 2,000 per U.S. city simply because it's so easy to be a serial killer and kill people and not get caught. And so now, now my neighbor is terrified that he might come back.